Thank you for tuning in to HR Revivals, where it's always the hour for revival. I'm your brother in the Lord, Brother HR, and it's always the hour for revival. Bless the name of the Lord Most High. Thank you, Jesus, for your presence here today. Lord, we just thank you that people are going to be saved. They're going to be healed. They're going to be delivered in the name of Jesus. Lord, I thank you. You're going to fill them with the Holy Ghost and fire. Abba, Father, we come boldly before your throne of grace tonight, making our petition known. Lord, we stand boldly, but humbly as we know how declaring that your will and your word be done and made manifest in the lives of your people watching. Lord, we know your word is already anointed, but we pray that you would anoint your people to receive the word. Tear up the fowler ground, Father, that they may receive all that you've promised for them to receive, Father God. In the name of Jesus, Lord, and we call it done by faith, Amen, amen, and amen. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Glory, hallelujah. Amen, hallelujah. Well, glory. Thank you, Jesus. I'm waiting to send you an invite. Hold on. I just sent you an invite, sister. Praise the Lord. Amen. Whew. Glory to God. Hallelujah, Holy Ghost. Amen. I'm just going to wait a few more seconds, then I guess we'll just get right into the Word tonight. Amen. Hallelujah, Lord. Glory to God in heaven. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Amen. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Amen. Well, glory to God. I guess we'll just go ahead and read the word, and I guess I'll do the message in the dark tonight. It's getting dark outside, and... Lord, have mercy. I tell you what, God blessed me with a big mouth, and I'm so grateful. Hallelujah, Jesus. Amen. I wasn't born with a microphone in my mouth, but I sure give God the glory that he gave me a big mouth. Hallelujah. That is so wild that it's just allowing you to watch. I rebuke the enemy in Jesus' name. Glory. Hallelujah. Amen. Well, um, even though it's allowing you to watch, please watch and share, sister. Praise God. Amen. This is going to be a quick word. It's going to be a tight word, but a right word. Amen. Can somebody say amen to that? Thank you, Lord Jesus. Glory. Hallelujah. Amen. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Luke chapter 17, if you got your Bibles. Luke chapter 17. Hallelujah. Somebody say Luke 17. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah, Lord. Luke, the 17th chapter. Hallelujah. Wait a minute. 17, there we go, hold on y'all, I'm sorry about this, <laughs> hold on, just bear with me in Jesus' name, <laughs> glory to God, amen, here we go, thank you Holy Ghost, glory Lord, amen, now it even says in the chapter of your Bible, watch this, Jesus teaches about offense. Peter asked him, how many times should I forgive if my brother comes to me but sins against me? Watch this. And he says, 70 times 7. We know that. 
Amen. Glory. Hallelujah. Seven times seven. Watch this now. Watch this. And the apostles said unto him, the Lord, increase our faith. And the Lord said, now wait a minute. He's talking about unforgiveness. And they said, increase our faith. Faith to what? Forgive. Woo! Glory to God in heaven. You need faith to forgive. You need one, faith to know you're forgiven. Even if the other person don't forgive you, you're forgiven because you settled it with the Father in heaven. Glory to God in heaven. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. They said, increase our faith. Watch this. And the Lord said, if you have faith as a grain of mustard seed, as small as a mustard seed, you Ye might say unto this sycamine tree, Be thou plucked up by the root, and be thou planted into the sea. Wait a minute. Plucked up. God wants you to deal with that unforgiveness at the root of the issue. Don't just keep saying, oh, I forgive you. I forgive you. Just that is what we're commanded to do. But also, don't just do that. Don't just be a hearer, but a doer of the word, my friend. Thank you, Holy Ghost. Glory to God. Amen. If you keep getting about the, offended about the same thing, that's a root cause. Don't just keep going through that. Actually get to the root of that so you can leave it alone. So it won't choke the life out of you. Jesus said, if you have enough faith the size of a grain of mustard seed, you can speak to the sycamine tree. Come on now. Hallelujah, Holy Ghost. Glory. Hallelujah, Jesus. Amen. Be thou plucked up by the root and cast into the sea. Now let come out of the bullshit. What sea is he talking about? The sea of forgetfulness. He said when he forgives our sin, he casts them as far as the east is to the west, and he remembers them no more. The Bible speaks about the sea of forgetfulness. Let me tell you something. He casts our sins as deep as the sea, and he don't remember them again against us. Lord Jesus, hallelujah, Holy Ghost. Glory to God. Amen. We keep saying we want to be forgiven then we need to learn how to forgive. We need to have faith to forgive. That's right, Sister White. Deception causes offense, and offense causes sin. And let me tell you, honey, sin causes death. Oh, this is a good word tonight. No wonder the enemy fought me so hard. Praise the Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Glory to God. Amen, amen, and amen. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Ooh, glory to the Lord. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. Amen. Watch this, y'all. Take heed to yourself. Thy brother's trespasses against thee. Rebuke him, and if he repent, forgive him. He said, deal with the matter. He went from a tree to forgiving again. Watch this. He said the sycamine tree. Did you know that the sycamine tree is called two other names in your Bible? One name that it's called particularly is the sycamore tree. Mm, glory to God in heaven. Thank you, Jesus. Amen. I'm going to show you why Jesus said the sycamine tree when he's talking about unforgiveness. Watch this, y'all. I want to call it 
for the next few minutes what God says to you and me about the sycamine tree. Watch. Like I said, Monday concerning unforgiveness, the sycamine tree was what was made for caskets in the days of Jesus. It was the tree that they were hewn down because it was one of the strongest trees in that region. It took several men to cut it. Hallelujah, Holy Ghost. Glory to God. Amen. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Amen. And my rabbi, Sister White, and I was talking. Would it not be interesting? Now watch this. This was not just a tree. It bore fruit. Glory. Hallelujah, Holy Ghost. Amen. Watch this. This tree bore fruit. What fruit did it bear? It bore figs. This sycamine tree, or the sycamore, was actually a fig tree. Glory, hallelujah, Jesus. Mm, amen, glory, hallelujah, amen. So, one, the sycamine tree, in your unforgiveness, represents death if you don't uproot it. Mm, come on, Holy Ghost, thank you, Lord Jesus, amen, glory. But not only does it represent death, it represents searching for eternal life. Luke 19 and 4. Not uh, Luke 19, 4 through 5. Zacchaeus climbed up into the sycamore tree to see Jesus. He was a short man, uh, Zacchaeus was. And he climbed up into the sycamore to see Jesus. But the Bible said Jesus saw him. He turned up and he said, Zacchaeus, come down. For I'm going to your house today. I'm going to have dinner with you. Hallelujah, Holy Ghost. Glory to God. In heaven, thank you, Jesus. Amen. And the man Zacchaeus got saved at his own house in front of everybody that accused him. Watch this, y'all. It is truly a place where you seek God, but it's also a place where God seeks you. John 1 30 through 48. Jesus says to John, John's brother Philip, I saw you under the juniper tree. This same fig tree is actually, the, the juniper tree is actually. Watch this, the sycamore tree. Or the, he, he said, I saw you under the fig tree. Sorry, y'all. He said, I saw you under the fig tree. What fig tree? The fig tree was the same one that they would cut down and make caskets out of. Lord, have mercy, Jesus. It was the sycamine tree. It was the fig tree of Jesus' day. Come on, somebody. Hallelujah, Jesus. Glory to God in heaven. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Amen. So it's a place of death. But it's a place of searching for God, and it's a place where God finds you. Hallelujah, Holy Ghost. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Amen. He, Zacchaeus was searching for him, and Jesus found him. Hallelujah. Jesus saw Philip because Philip was searching for the Messiah. Glory to God, and the Messiah found him. So it's a place of searching. This is the same fig tree Jesus was referring to concerning his people at the end of times. Matthew 24, 32. When you see the fig tree blooming, he's talking about the end of time when the fig tree, which does represent Israel, rises back up when it begins to bloom again. It's the sycamine tree. It's also interesting that it was the same tree. It's called a mulberry bush. A mulberry tree, y'all. It has three names. Sycamine, sycamore, and mulberry. This mulberry was a fruit. And this fruit 
<laughs> was a fig. Glory, hallelujah, Holy Ghost. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Amen. Remember the fig that God used to heal the king's sore foot? Sick of mine. Oh, glory to God. Amen. It's a place of healing your walk with God. Mm, Jesus. I'm about to have fun all by myself, I think. Well, glory, hallelujah, Holy Ghost. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Glory, hallelujah. Amen. It was the same tree that God told David when you hear the sound of the rustling in the mulberry tree, in the fig tree, advance for the kingdom of God has gone before, the chariot of God has gone before you and fought your battle and the victory has been won. So when you hear the sound of God's horses in the fig tree, Go ahead and advance. So it's a place of advancement. Once you find God, you'll find your rest in him because he's already went ahead of you. And the battle's not yours, but it's the Lord's. Ah, who am I preaching to tonight? Hallelujah, Holy Ghost. Thank you, Jesus. Woo, that old time preacher's coming in me. Hallelujah, Jesus. Amen. Glory to God. It was the same tree that God called David to to fight. So it's a place of rest and waiting on God. 2 Samuel 5.24 It's a place of listening. He listened and obeyed the Lord. So it's also a place of training. Now watch this, y'all. It's a place of listening Finally, God uses the fig tree to teach you and me to have faith. Because when God tells us to produce, you better produce. Remember, the fig tree that Jesus cursed was a sycamine. Mm. The sycamine is what they made caskets out of. So if you don't produce, you're going to die. And that's in your Bible, my friends. Matthew 7, 16. Watch this, y'all. Mark 11, 12 through 25. Jesus cursed the fig tree because it wouldn't grow when he told it to grow. It was due season for a miracle. God, Sunday. Somebody's in due season for a miracle. Watch this, y'all. Jealousy over first fruit. Got a man of God who was a brother to Cain killed. Abel died because his first fruit offering was accepted by Jesus. I, I see an angel of the Lord being dispatched right now. He's got a white hood and he's got the glory surrounding him. There's a, a, a golden belt around his waist and he's being dispatched to heal people's hearts right now that's been wounded by the spirit of offense. Hallelujah, Holy Ghost. I feel the presence of God all over me. Thank you, Jesus. Praise God in heaven. Amen. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Glory. Hallelujah, Lord. Amen. Teach you and me to have faith. Watch this. If it produces bad fruit or no fruit at all, it's cut down. Daniel 14, uh, I'm sorry, Daniel 4, 14 through 15. Luke 13, 8 and 9. But there you will know them by their fruit. Uh, that's what I was supposed to read. Matthew 7, 16. If you bear no fruit, you're cut down, Luke 13, 8 through 9. But you're going to be known by your fruit, either good or bad. Matthew 7 and 16. Glory to God in heaven. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Glory, Lord. Amen. But bear your fruit. He said you're going to know them by their fruit. 
Glory, hallelujah, Holy Ghost. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Amen. Daniel, I mean, uh, Matthew 7, 16. And the Bible tells us what kind of fruit we are supposed to produce. Hallelujah. Galatians 5, 22 through 23 is the fruits of the Spirit. Sister White, if you could go ahead and put that up right there. Galatians 5, 22 through 23. Finally, you'll either bear good fruit or bad fruit. Matthew 7, 18. James 3 and 12. Now in closing, yes, Galatians 5, 22 through 23, that's right. It's the fruits of the Spirit. Watch this, y'all. The Lord is drawing right now. Hallelujah. I just heard the Lord say, go and read that verse. Well, glory. Hallelujah. Holy Ghost. I hope somebody's enjoyed this message today. I've enjoyed it myself. Even if nobody else did. I know me and Sister White did. Hallelujah, Jesus. Praise you, Holy Ghost. Glory to God in heaven. Thank you, Jesus. Now that was a sermon from the Lord. I mm, I give you the glory, Abba Father. Thank you, Yeshua. I love you, Lord Jesus. Galatians. There we go. Thank you, Sister White. Galatians 5, 22 through 23. But the fruit of the Spirit is love, joy, peace, long-suffering, gentleness, goodness, faith, meekness, Temperament, temperance, against such there is no law. God gives you an amazing grace by receiving the free gift of his Holy Spirit. If you're watching me right now and you're saying, Brother HR, I don't have those gifts. I, I don't have the fruit to back up what you're preaching right now, Brother HR. I, I don't have it. How can I get it? Very good question. Come to Jesus. He'll cut down the old tree and he won't cut it all the way down like he did in Daniel. He said, I'm going to save that tree and I'm going to let it grow again and I'm going to have it produce good fruit this time. So he cut down the tree in the book of Daniel, but he said, put a band around it. Because I'm going to bring something back up in it that's worth something in the kingdom. Glory to the Lamb of God. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah, Lord. Amen, amen, and amen. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Amen. If you're watching me and you want God to heal the fruit of your tree and you want to partake of the tree of life that comes through Jesus Christ, Everlasting life is offered when you pray this prayer of salvation. Dear Jesus, I come to you a sinner. I believe that you died on the cross, that God the Father raised you from the dead, and I am saved. Lord Jesus, wash me, cleanse me, fill me with your precious Holy Spirit. Let me have the fruit of your Spirit, Lord Jesus. Let me be like you. Live your life through me. I repent of my sins and I turn fully to you. You be the judge, Lord Jesus. I let go of unforgiveness. Lord Jesus, I thank you that by your grace, I will advance and I will do the things that you've called me to do in the kingdom. In Jesus' name, I believe you died on the cross, that God the Father raised you from the dead, and I am saved. In Jesus' name, amen, amen, and amen. Amen. If you pray that prayer, all of heaven's rejoicing right now. Glory, hallelujah, Holy Ghost. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Glory to God. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. I pray healing for you. I pray deliverance. I pray Jesus fills you with the Holy Ghost and fire tonight. 
in Jesus' name. Amen, amen, and amen. Glory, hallelujah. I love you. God bless you. Write to me. Let me know what God's done for you. If you'd like to see more videos like this, write to me and let me know that. On, uh, write to me, hourforrevivalofyahoo.com or go to my uh, yahoo.com. Yeah. Uh, my YouTube page is Hour for Revival. Like, share, and subscribe to hit that bell notification for more videos just like this. In Jesus' name, I love you. God bless you. I'll see you in the next meeting or in the air in heaven. Hallelujah to the Lamb of God. Thank you, Jesus. Praise the Lord. Amen. I love you. God bless. Bye-bye.